He is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. A happy and joyous Easter to you. The Gospel of Mark, chapter 16, verses 1 to 8. When the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Salome, bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. And they were saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? And looking up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, dressed in a white robe. And they were alarmed. And he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where you, they laid him? But go, tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. And they went out and fled from the tomb, where trembling and astonishment had seized them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. A curious, even troubling way to end the Gospel of Mark. The ladies, Mary and Mary, were troubled, for they did not see the risen Christ yet. As you and I prepare for our Easter celebration today, we may find our own trouble in our own life, and we may desperately desire to see the risen Savior. But it is enough, dear friend, that he told you, and he is risen from the dead. As we celebrate this Easter resurrection in 2021, there may be many things that surround you and darken your life, bring fear and, and anger even to your life. But know this, that Jesus Christ is risen, and he told you this. And that is enough. Rejoice. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia.